Hi, I'm Michelle Edwards, CPA and owner of Trailhead Accounting Solutions. Thank you so much for joining us today. So this morning I was on the phone with a potential new client. We were talking through his businesses. He actually owns three different businesses, so he's a seasoned entrepreneur, kind of knows what he's doing. But he made some comment about how he handles his capital accounts. And I thought it was interesting. I'd never seen it been done this way. And it got me thinking that capital accounts are kind of a mystery for business owners. So I thought I'd jump on the video today and help walk you through capital accounts, what they are, what do they mean, and how do you use them? So a capital account is kind of in a nutshell, what keeps track of the money you put into the business the money you took out of the business to pay yourself. And then over time, if your business had any profits or any losses, all of those then also feed into your capital account. So at the end of the day, it essentially tells you what your investment is in the business. So let's dive into QuickBooks and see how this works. So we're in QuickBooks Online and I'm just using a demo company. Um, so. Let's make, pretend like we are starting off and we are going to put in $5,000 for our capital account. This is, you know, starting our business or we're in, you know, the middle of business and we need cash for our business. We need to fund payroll. We have a big purchase coming up and we're short on cash. So we're going to put in $5,000 into our business. So we're going to come up here. We are going to make a deposit. And actually, I prefer to use a sales receipt so that it shows up on my customer ledger. So let's put it in that way. So we're going to say that I put in I'm going to put it in at the first of the month, the beginning of the year. Just have this go right to the checking account. And actually, I'll probably have to set something up. So let's add new. We're going to do it as a service. We're going to call it owner contributions. It's not taxable. And we want this to go against our equity account. Where are they? Here they are. So we're going to have this go against owner's equity. So we're setting up a new product or service called owner contributions. And it would really help if I knew how to spell. <laughs> we're going to have it go to owner contributions and then the income account where it's going to post is owner's equity. So now we can put it to owner contributions and we're going to deposit $5,000 into the bank account. So if we come over here and we're going to pull up a balance sheet, this lives on our balance sheets. So we're going to come over to reports. We're going to jump over to balance sheet. Pull up a January balance sheet. Now, if you're not familiar with the balance sheet, look around on our video channel. We'll be posting videos soon on how to read your financials. But in a nutshell, they're broken out into three sections. The top part is the assets, which are the things that your business owns. So checking account, accounts receivables, and any you know equipment or buildings that your business owns, such as this one has a truck. The second section is your liabilities, and these are all the things that you owe to other people, whether it's credit cards, whether it's vendor bills, whether it's tax payments. And then the third section down here is your equity, and this is what we're talking about. These are the capital accounts. This is what tracks how much your business is worth in a nutshell. Um, so we're looking right here at this owner's equity account. And you can see there's $5,000. So if I drill down into this, there's nothing that started this account. It was started at zero. So we made a cash deposit into the bank to help fund operations for $5,000. So this shows up here. 
So now back to here, you can see our owner's equity account is $5,000. Okay, so let's say we have a super profitable year. And at the end of the year, we decide to pay ourselves. Now, depending on your business structure, it might look a little different for you. In this example, let's pretend that we are either an LLC, a partnership, or a single member or a sole proprietor business. So we're going to write ourselves a check. And we're going to pay ourselves at the end. Well, I guess we could do it at the end of the month. Let's see if that's set up right. We're going to put it against owner's equity, and we're going to take a draw of 150000 Save and close. Now when we pull up the balance sheet, you can see that our owner's equity decreased now by that 150000 Now we're down to one forty-five. So if we drill down in here, you can see that we put $5,000 into the business. We invested into the business. Then we took a draw. We paid ourselves out the profits that we had made for the month. So we took a draw of 150000 This leaves our equity account at the end of the month at that we've taken out of the business, less what we've put in, $145,000. But that is how you track your capital accounts. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.